Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to some more Farming Simulator. Last episode uh, was quite a busy one. We harvested the field over here, and as you can see, I have got it all uh, cultivated up. We have a lot of rocks again, but that's okay. We can easily sort that out. Uh, we also plowed this field. Uh, we fertilized it, and I did use the roller to uh, roll it, so all the rocks are now gone. They Technically, they're not gone. I've just squished them back into the ground, but... Uh, Next time we cultivate this field, we uh, we will get a stone pick. In fact, I might get one now, just to do this one over here. Also, we uh, we planted ourselves some canola. It is 50% fertilized, uh, so we are going to most likely fertilize it again, just so we can get that 100% uh, yield bonus. But at the moment, what I'm really thinking of doing is selling our wheat to them right here. We have 13,000 liters. Uh, I was looking at some of the prices not too bad um over a thousand pounds i think that's at the train station really i might just go to the uh the grain elevator the grain mill just because it might be a bit closer or we could just keep it till january but as you can see we got fifteen thousand in the bank and uh i want to try and buy some machinery today so we don't have to rent it so if we go to um well, we might as well just try and go to the train, really. How far away is uh, the train? Right, it's all the way at the very tippy top of the map, is it? That's fine. We can uh, we can easily just do that. So if we uh, go into our one of our tractors right here. Yeah, we'll take the, uh, the Massey Ferguson right here. And we start that up. Let's hit the train. I don't know how many... We might have to do two runs of it and uh then come back but before we do that i might get a worker just to start doing some stuff while we go back and forth so let's just connect this trailer up and open you and then we can start loading this wheat so it's probably gonna fill it up instantly yep that's it oh was that all of it yeah we still gotta probably do another run right let me jump into um this tractor right here and then we are going to... I don't know how many seeds we got left in this seeder right here. I want to plant some grass uh, for the time being. So let's connect this right here. Come on. Excuse me. Thank you. We got 39%. That should be enough. Uh, if we change it to grass. Lovely. Right. Let's head on over to the fields. Anyone coming this way? No, they're not. Awesome. Um, right, let's, as always, I'm just going to do the headlands of it all, and then we will get, uh, someone else to do it for us while we transfer that grain over. Uh, so let's start on this, and, uh, let's just get it going. I know you want me. Okay, that is now going. We got some nice grass all done in there. Once he's finished all that, we will uh, come back over later on and we will uh, spray it with some fertilizer. But first, oh, I left a uh, motor running. Right, do we. That train is pretty far away, isn't it? Mm. Yes. I think what we'll do this time is we'll just. Uh, we'll, we'll go to like the normal grain silo and then once we get a bigger, bigger field going, we will then do it. So we'll just go to the. Uh, the grain mill for now, I think. I know it's uh, it's not the best option, but it might be. It's, it's a little closer. It's the same place as last time, I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, two loads for now. Until we get a bigger lorry, then I think it should be good. Hopefully, we can get a bigger lorry soon. And I just can't wait to get all this uh, properly up and going. It's, it's, it seems slow at the moment, but for now, we, we'll get there. We'll get there. And uh, I'm really thinking about buying some sheep today or chickens. And probably chickens, but we'll see.
Okay, here we are. First drop of the morning. Uh, we are on times one. So it should uh, should be okay to do. Let's have a look, see what price we get. Not too bad. Seven and a half thousand. Uh, that's just for the first drop. Uh, let's head back. Let's get the second one. And uh, we will carry on with uh, some more work at the farm, I think. I've just realized there are collectibles in, in the game. And uh, obviously, as you know, you can get 50,000 pounds. And there's two right here, which I'm really tempted to go and collect. Um, so and that'll be 100,000 pounds straight away, that will. So what I think we'll do is uh, we'll go and grab them both. And then we, we won't grab the others. Uh, we might get them. But for now, I think we'll just grab it. Just so we don't have to lease a couple of items. That'll be a good little starting point. So I know there is one just up by here on the left. And then I'm pretty certain there may be one on the right up by uh, where we can sell eggs. So let's just jump out if I'm pretty sure there should be. Yep, one right here. And um, what we got here? Wheat Gobbler. Strange, that's just uh, what we just dropped off. So uh, let's collect that. Uh, many years ago, the Sovereign Company buried the entire stock of unsold video games, categories in this region. Try and find them all. You found the Wheat Gobbler game. Just 19 more to go. So that's 50,000. That's okay. Um, and then if we head over to here, I'm pretty certain there's one on the roof somewhere by here. I could be wrong though, but I think we have to jump up here, like so, and jump up here. Yep, there's another one right there. What we got by here? Fresh fruit farmers, and then that's that. So that's a hundred thousand in the bank already. It, it probably not the smartest move, uh, considering we're trying to earn all this money, but it's money that will help us uh, eventually and help us out a lot. Right, okay, here we go. The final drop for our first harvest of the season. Let's put that in there, and we should be able to get a nice fair amount in total. Probably not going to be enough, a lot. Uh, it's only about 5,000 years, but it will be an extra something. And I'm pretty certain, I think I've decided we're going to go with uh, with some chickens to start off with, just to make it a bit more easier. Uh, with sheep, we're going to need to obviously get hay uh, or straw or wheat for them, so... Um, we want to do that when we get uh, the field going and growing again. So for now, I think chickens is going to be the solution we are going to go for. And 127,900 pounds in the bank account. Not too bad. Oh, well, I say that the money is gone. Uh, just dropped down a bit. And we're on times 10 just to get through this day a bit. Uh, this lovely autumn September. Right then, so what we need to do is, uh, well first of all we need to turn the engine off on this one and we can then jump back into this one. Uh, I want to move some of these pallets on the way, even though we only have uh, one pallet right here of good old tomatoes. I'm pretty certain we have it set to just lettuce only, or we might just have lettuce on, lettuce and something else. Lettuce and tomato, yeah, I think I turned strawberries off. Oh no I didn't. Okay, well, I think what we'll do is we will, yeah, we'll just keep it on sorting for now, depending on, let's actually have a look at, see what the price is like for them. Uh, if we head on down to uh, strawberries and lettuce, here we go. Uh, lettuce, okay, lettuce is not too bad, that's going up and it's going to be going up again in February, which is great. Tomatoes, yeah, I think I did switch it off. Uh, before we didn't see or something. Right, that's fine. We're all eggs. Is eggs doing well? Eggs is doing well. 3,000. Okay. Right, and the highest is around 4,000, is it? Okay, well, that's something to look into. I'm pretty certain we do have a couple of eggs. Yeah, we have a nice little pallet of eggs going. And our dear worker over here, he's almost finished the, with the grass. So once he's done that, again, we will fertilize it uh, just to make it even more better. We should get a, a round of two cuts with this. Uh, because I do want to plant some potatoes in, I believe it is around March and April. So uh, we should be able to get a cut in December and then we can get a cut in March as well, which might work out. We can use that obviously in preparation for cows or any of the animals. Uh, but first of all, I think uh, we'll, we'll just leave these pallets there for now. 
we need to go and make ourselves a couple of purchases. In fact, let's check the used machinery sale because we haven't looked at that today, have we? A log truck. Ooh. Now, I have been having my eye on this because I do want to do a lot of, uh, quite, well, I do want to look into doing the tree, uh, tree chopping business. 95,000 pounds. It's not too bad. How many hours has it got? 15 hours. All right. It's, it, it, we could buy it, but we don't actually need it uh, as of yet. So what we do need is uh, I want to get some solid fertilizer. We'll just get one bag of that for now. And then we will get uh, two bags of seeds because we are going to probably need it. On top of that, we want to get, we'll just get for now one bag of wheat. And uh, I'm hoping our lovely tractor here will be able to handle it. If not, we have a weight on the back. Whether it will be able to pick it up, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Let's find out when we get there. Right, I was kind of hoping they'd be more placed together by, by the looks of it. Uh, they're not. And we can't even pick these up, can we? No, objects are too heavy, right. Will this little tractor be able to lift all four of these? If not, it looks like we might have to do two runs of it. Right, let's get this sort of lined up. Okay. Alright, that's two. Can you handle two? Oh dear. Alright, well we're kind of uh, lifting off the ground. Can I lower this weight a bit? Right, I think that might help out us a lot. Let's just try and grab this second one. Don't knock it over. Oh, okie dokie. Right, so we, can, we got, we got, oh. Nope, 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 nope. Looks like we're just going to be sticking with a two for now. Right, so let's do that and we'll do that. Right, we'll take the seeds back over first because we'll probably end up uh, needing them now. And then we will come back and then we will grab uh, the rest of it all. And I think that was actually perfect timing because he is uh, he's all out of seeds. So let's just quickly start this up. And uh, we will fill this up. I think what we'll do, we'll finish this last part off uh, for now. And then we will go and get the, uh, the fertilizer. We will spread the fertilizer. And then we will make a good old purchase of some chickens, I think. And then we will have to decide what we're going to plant in there. Either wheat or barley. I'm leaning towards wheat. But barley might be a good option. But first, we'll have to check the prices on them all. Say you love me. Say you don't. Just give me something. So I can move on. Pull me closer. Or push me away. Let me know if we'll be okay Cause I can't stand another moment of you playing with my mind I'm so tired of never knowing So spell it out Cause I won't stay awake till morning I won't stay time lapse there and uh while well, driving right now you can see this tractor is probably not the uh the best choice of a front loader on us so we're probably gonna have to change that maybe stick it on the uh, the massey ferguson tractor will be probably a better solution for now uh but right let's uh just drop this off by here just up the way nicely there we go we'll probably have uh, a better place suited for these in the near future like this own barn or something all uh, right, let's just do that by there. And then let's just park you. Yeah, we'll park you by here for now. And switch the engine off. There we go. Right, let's have a look at some chickens, shall we? 
Um, right, so we can go to animals. We can get cows, horses, pigs, sheep, chickens, bees, and other. Uh, we will eventually try and get uh, every single animal. We'll probably go in a certain order. Uh, horses as well. I mean, they, they don't seem too bad. I mean, this, the horse stable seems pretty cheap. Cows, however. Oh, I will admit cows have got a big, huge ban. I do have this ban, though, on here when it loads, which might be okay. Uh, if we want to go for it, but 722,000 pounds for that one, but that's got an auto-feeding robot. Uh, right, we're not going to worry too much about that. The sheep ones are pretty pretty cheap, and uh, also the pigs as well. But for chickens, right, we could we could go with the 6,000 pound one, or we can go with the 7,000 pound one. I'm thinking we go with the 80,000 80, pounds. It might just be better, and it might just suit us um, in a more profitable way, I think. But for now, I think what we'll just do is we will go with... Uh, we'll, we'll have these chickens for you, so let's just pop you right there, like so, I think. And... Do -do -do. Right in our front yard, yeah, but that's okay. Boom. There we go. Look at that. We have ourselves a good old chicken coop. Now, I'm pretty certain we can buy them from here. But can we get um, an animal transport trailer? I think you can. Well, I know you can. Uh, animal transport. Horses, horses. Okay, they're horses, pigs and sheep. Okay, I don't think we can get transport for chickens. How would you transport chickens? That was a question, but I guess you can't. Alright. Let's see. So we can even get um a five pounds for zero months old, which is gonna take a while to produce eggs. Um right, we're probably gonna get two of you. That's for a start. Um and then chickens. I might I might just buy the six month old just to speed it along. And we'll probably buy, say twenty five chickens. Yeah, okay, we'll buy that. Um, okay, that's been purchased. I don't think we have the roost. Do we have the roosters? No, let's go with... Uh, we can go two roosters, I think. Okay, let's have a look. There we are. Where are they? There he is. There's one of them. Just pecking at the ground. And then there's another one. No, wait, are they roosters? I don't know, I think they are. They look like them. Yeah, they must be because they're different colours to the other ones. Right. Nice. Okay, so what we do actually need, I believe now if we go into after this save menu it takes 20 years to do. I might just turn it off for the time being and just automatically save it all. Um right. If we go down to animals. Right, so productivity is zero. Uh they're gonna need some grain, which luckily enough. We did buy a good old bag of wheat right there, some chicken wheat. Eventually, we are going to grow our own food, uh, so we don't have to spend money on them. But look, it's looking like uh, we might be going into the next month in this episode. I kind of was not going to avoid that, but we may have to, because we're going to do some planting over there. Well, we got well, First of all, we've got to fertilize uh, the ground, and then we've got a rock roller, and then we've got to re-fertilize it. Sorry, then we got to plant it and then probably fertilize it. So, let's give them some grain. See how much they take. They might take the whole bag. It's not that much and only a thousand liters. There we go. Okay, no, they didn't take all of it. Um, let's see how much How much did they actually take there. All of it. Okay, that's not too bad. Hopefully, we can start producing some eggs very soon. And if we come over here, we have some tomatoes growing. So we've got some strawberries and some tomatoes. We should start getting, as well, some um, lettuce. I think that starts at around 500 litres. And the water... Oh, I didn't check the water. Okay, water's, water's fine. That is great. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is uh, we will pick ourselves up a stone picker. We are just going to rent this one right here. Um, I do, I am very tempted, which I might actually buy right now. We'll just buy ourselves 
this trailer right here. Um, so we will go with. Yeah, we'll go. With, we'll go with these wheels right here. So we are going to buy that just so we can easily transport uh these materials around. Not materials. Uh, well, yeah, materials and like obviously the eggs and stuff. Right, let's jump in this tractor. Let's uh, fertilize the grass over there, and then uh, we will go and get the rock, rock picker, stone picker, I should say, and then we will start picking that field. <laughs> Sometimes you don't show it enough. Right, and that is both fields all fertilized. They should now be at 100% uh, each, which is lovely. So they now should have a nice, well, I'm hoping they have 100% yield. Uh, let's see, that's got a 80% yield, which I've fertilized. Yep, that's all you want. And the grass, 100% fertilized. Well, 99%, 100%. And yield bonus, 80%, which uh, is good. Okay, um, I think for now, uh, we're just going to return this uh, fertilizer sprayer. And we may probably purchase one. We'll probably we'll purchase the same one because it's just easier. And uh, by far, this is this this one is wonderful. It gets a, a, a decent area. Probably covers like a whole field. Um, right. So we gotta head over in that direction anyway to get the stone bigger. Uh, we'll return this. We'll pick up the new one, and then we will carry on with the day. And then we will most probably head on into November. No, not November. We will head into October, I should say. Alright, so I think I'm just going to go with this one right here. It's probably, it is a little bit more expensive. Um, we could go for the 6 meter spreaders. Or we can just go with a spreading disc. I think I might want to go with this. Oh, it's, it's, it's 45,000. But it might, it might be good. We'll, we'll try it out. We'll purchase them. We'll try it out because we are, we do need it anyway. And, uh, yeah, there is the rock picker right there. It's a lot bigger than what I expected, but it is a big field. Way okay. I wasn't expecting this to be this big. Right. Okay, and then we also got our trailer right here, which we'll pick up uh, later on uh, tonight. But first of all, we're probably gonna have to come back for these for one of those. So we'll just take the rock, uh, the stone picker for now, because that's what we need. Hopefully, um, my front don't lift up because we might need a weight. Right now we should be all good. Right, okay, that is all lovely stuff. Right, let's head back. We'll head over to the field. And we might just get a worker to pick the stones for us. Whoops, sorry there, bud. Didn't mean to do that. And, uh, yeah, we can start planting. We might have to uh, rest and go into October and then plant there. we still got our month to do it. Um, plus, it does look like there is rain in the forecast as well. So, let's have a look how we're doing. Um... Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be raining in like the next 10 minutes or so. Um, what's going on here? No, we want to board you up. We don't want you activating yet. Uh, okay, hey, well, I didn't even ask for someone yet. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be raining in about 10 minutes time. So we'll actually see now if it does rain. If it does start raining, um, then we, we can't really plant, can we? But hopefully um, that field, our, our grass will have grown because uh, the winter time is going to be definitely quiet for us while we're waiting for things to grow. We could we can sell those as well, which is great. Uh, but until then, it's just going to be a waiting game.
and as predicted year is the rain so uh, looks like we're not gonna be uh, planting this afternoon which which is okay it's fine so we still got a uh, few bits to do until then right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a work on this we are then going to go back over grab our tree I think and then our fertilizer come back hopefully it's gonna be almost done and then we will head on into October so here we go well, it looks like my uh, my employee had decided to go home for the day. It is uh, it is almost five to six in the evening. We have our fertilizer spread up back at the farm. Um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking this was uh, probably a bit too big to start off with. You know, especially considering it's a small farm like this. Um, but yeah, right now, no, it's uh, the weather's really bad at the moment. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get anything done. The reservoir. We could wait till eight o'clock or seven o'clock and pass the time away. Um, and then we can start, but it will be late. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to rest. And uh, we are going to head into November. Have we got any eggs spawning yet? No, not yet. Have they actually started producing eggs? That's the question. I don't think they have just yet. Ooh, no, they haven't, not yet. Right, hopefully in the morning they will have... Um, okay, yeah, let's just rest for now. We'll have a we'll have an early start, I think. We'll go 7 o'clock just so we can get everything all done, ready for the winter. Right, here we are. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 10 past 7, and uh, the weather is looking great. There's a, a vehicle still on. Right, that's probably used a bit of fuel. And we have some eggs here. Look at that. Okay. That's not bad. 684 egg, 84 pieces in there. Right, so they are starting to produce some, or 83 pieces in there. That is wonderful. So we got, we got the honey still going. And we have another pack of tomatoes and a pack of cabbage. Lovely. So obviously we did skip a month, so um, a quite a bit of water. Not too bad. That's still up. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. And uh, how was the chicken food going, by the way? We just need to keep an eye on that. Right, so they're still doing fine. Um, let's have a look at the used machinery sale for this week. And what we got? A single row billet planter. Uh, no idea what this is. This planter can be used to plant sugarcane. Right. I don't think uh, we're going to be doing sugarcane for a while. Uh, depending on what the actual prices look like. Uh, so if we head on over to uh, see the calendar we're to, we're looking for the sugarcane. Uh, planting season, March, April. And then there's around this time. So that's not too bad. We could, we could plant it and then harvest it and then plant it. Uh, some wheat, but what's the prices on sugarcane like? I'm gonna say it's, oh, it's uh, it's there a bit. That's fine. Um, what about? Let's just double check the, you know, the usual the lettuce. Lettuce is actually going is up, not too bad. And the tomatoes and the eggs. So let's see, farm shop, farm shop, and the farm shop. So I think we might make a couple of sales there and sell these. Um, might sell this pallet of egg as well because they're not gonna. It is not gonna, you know, fill any more up, so we might might as well just sell it. Uh, and then we can use our new trailer as well, which is right over here. Oh, that's just a bit sticky. That is, it is honey. Right, let's just place you there. But we got a busy day today. We uh, have to uh, finish stone picking this ground. We then have to. I don't think we're gonna fertilize it. Not just yet. I think we'll just wait until we've uh, we've done some seed and we've planted some wheat. I think we are gonna go with. Um, some barley maybe let's just quickly go to the top let's see um yeah i think we're just gonna go with some barley for the start off with but we have a lot of work to do and uh not really much time because this will take up a bit of time but anyway let's hopefully this goes well and we will carry on with it right okay i think that's just i think we're just gonna leave it there for the rocks for now uh we might actually just turn them off because there is a uh, huge amount going on I've, I've, I've cleared most of one side um but i've got we yeah we got quite a few over here uh so we're most likely just going to turn them off instead right um we're going to return this uh stone picker right there i'm not too really bothered about the uh the contents of it all it's probably it might be a, a decent amount of money but uh we're just gonna leave it for that right that's one thing and if we look over here oh we, we also need to check on our canola, just see how that is getting on. Right there. Let's just have a quick look. Yep, that is growing 
grow in nicely that right let's have a look at our grass because we do have some grass already going we should be able to cut that next month which is going to be wonderful yeah that's nice and growing one more, one more month and and that's going to be completely ready right next up what we need to do is we need to get our cedar and we need to oh sorry i think it's called a drill actually let's see there drill get our drill and then we will start planting down our good old barley i think we said we we're gonna do barley so let's change that to barley like so in fact can we do we can't do oats can we no oats no it's just either wheat or barley really um we could do why all this oil seed radish how much is that actually worth i don't think it's probably going to be worth well it might be worth something but i haven't really looked into doing that just yet um that's all the woodwork and stuff oil seed in fact let's just go to i think it tells us what we need to use for it as well uh go down i think it's in this one actually uh yeah there we go uh do, do, do. it's not that is it no i don't think it's it's that wood chipping sugar cane cotton sugar beans chaff hay olives potatoes sugar beets no transport i don't think it tells us does it say anything in here what we would need great technology no none of that cultivators um subsoilers if, if anyone knows what we have to what you need for that then i uh please that would actually help me out a lot but i think yeah we'll just stick with barley for now in our stony field but it's okay uh because we will turn it off and we'll probably end up rolling it all down right also if, if the time lapse is a bit too much please also let me know i'm just enjoying um working on it in the edits as well so and i think they look kind of okay it just speeds up the process and you know you're not missing out and there's a deer on the road look how beautiful that deer is as long as he doesn't come over to here that should be fine uh but let us um lower the cedar down we will turn it on make sure we got barley in there we do and uh yeah let's get planting doing this and the deer oh he almost ran into me almost I feel, I feel like I'm in a cage The walls, the walls, they keep closing in I need a place where I can breathe Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Let me swim deep, find a better way Something to light up a spark again So lift me up to a higher state Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's time to say goodbye, leave it all in short on time Need you to hold your breath, when do you reach a deeper end? We. It's time to leave, it's time to break free from the shallows, shallows Whatever means it's time to break free from the shallows, shallows
Alright, so this is going to be interesting. We have 31 litres and 5% left, well, 4% now, uh, left in the back of the drill. And I'm not sure if we're going to have enough to uh, to finish this field. We might just we might just scratch it a little bit, I think. But hopefully, uh, we will have enough 23 litres. It's slowly going on. we got this little tiny strip left. And then that is it for planting. We have all three of our fields done. The question is, can we, uh, are we going to get it? It's only a little bit, but uh, it's going to be a close one. Right, so let's just line you up. I want to make sure I get this all straight because I don't want to waste any. Okay. 3%. Oh. We might just be able to have enough. 19 or... Oh. Hopefully, we, we may need to, we would, we need to invest in a, a more powerful tractor. I think uh, the Massey Ferguson might be a bit of a more powerful than this one. So, we might have to look into, uh, into doing that. But, yeah, so far, uh, we've pretty much got everything done before the winter, which is amazing. Oh, we got two liters left and there we are. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's put the, uh, let's put the planter, or the drill, sorry. I'm going to get these names very confusing and very mixed up. Let's put the drill back into here. And we will check on the chickens in just a second as well. I just want to make sure that everything's okay. We are going into the winter. There's not going to be much for us to do at all. Right, switch the engine off. There we go. There's not going to be much for us to do really um, until the uh, they grow. Uh, we can sell these. We'll probably sell these uh, next episode. Uh, hopefully the oh what's this umbilical hose roll can carry and deploy hoses to be used with the umbilical system right well we will eventually get into that um but what i want to do is i want to just check on the prices because we are in a new month hopefully they're good and they're not too bad uh chickens yeah, we got 135 eggs Okay, wonderful. Um, hopefully they good lettuce. Yep, yep. Okay, oh well. Okay, they are definitely going up. So February. Yeah, so we're looking like January and February. So we might just keep these for now. Honey, yep, that's still going up. And uh, yep, you're still going up. Great. What I want to do is start you up. Just give you some more food for us. So we know you guys are all good. Yep, there we go. That's lovely. And what we'll do is just park this up. Oh. Didn't want to do that. We'll just park this tractor right by here for now, just for the time being. Okay, wonderful. So, next time, I think what we're going to be doing is we should be able to cut this grass, which is great. So, we can cut it, we can dry it, and we can bale it up, and then we can sell it. Um, still a long way to go for this, uh, but that should be okay, and, uh, the good old, uh, barley will be growing too. But like I did say, it's probably gonna be a slow winter, so we are gonna skip a few, a few months over there. Obviously once all the grass is cut and, uh, we've, uh, finished, finished what we need to finish. But, um, yep, that's gonna be it till next time. Uh, I hope you guys do enjoy, what's it, what's this, pallet honey, yep, okay, great. Um, uh, hope you guys do enjoy, and until the next one, I shall see you later. Goodbye.